Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechah Kadash. Double honors to the Apostle Hill and the Great Millstone. Two blessed disciples, Jesus and the Holy Spirit elect. Two blessed like Mario, the Fifth Virgin EMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson from the Spirit of God, we have Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechah Kadash, for always good lessons and edifying. I wasn't planning on doing any trends this morning, but I ended up getting caught in traffic. So I figured I might as well speak on some of these things going on right now. You know, in my next couple of videos, probably going to be themed very similarly. You know, just surrounding this whole, you know, rise of carnality that you see happening in Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we see a lot of funny actions being played out by different men, different camps, different groups. Okay, things are being said, actions are being taken that can, that are going to more than likely be used, okay, knowing our enemy, Esau, even the so-called white man, scripture say we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, okay, these things will be used to demonize his truth, all right, and, you know, the thought that came to my mind was it's all, this is all too convenient for this devil's plan, okay, it's just mighty convenient. Now, we understand that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is the orchestrator of all things. And so, you know, the Lord can, the Lord not only can, but tends to make things happen in such a in such a manner that you look at it and say, damn, you know, <laughs> hey, man, sometimes things happen so perfectly, you'd be like, damn, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, man, as the scripture said that, uh, you know, I've been kind of holding this scripture for another lesson, but the scriptures say that the, the, the wrath of a great multitude shall be kindled over you. All right. And a lot of these things is going to be linked to these different actions that people are doing, man. Okay. Because you Hebrew Israelites. All right. So lock it, niggas. It's, it's got a green light sitting still. You know, but anyway, niggas is uh, taking these different actions. Okay. I don't know what this nigga can't drive, dog. Shoo, boy. Demons. Um, that are going to get, you know, carnal actions that are going to get the truth playing. Okay, because one thing about the devil is he don't care what group you're a part of. He don't care if you GMS, WFI. He don't care what, you know, HOI, <coughs> AOC. He don't give a damn. You know, IG, what, IJG, whatever, ISUK. He don't doesn't care to you to, to him you're a bhi you're a black hebrew israelite no matter what affiliation you have all right so ultimately we understand as you know those with 100 percent truth here you know the followers and believers of, of the doctrine that gms preaches we know what's going to happen we know that this ministry is going to get blamed no matter what you got certain people out there that want to tiptoe and be real sweet and kind to esau you know and, and try to let these devils in hey that's that's just a waste of time man Okay, because at the end of the day, your nigga ass is going to get blamed too. All right? But we have to prepare ourselves mentally for what we see coming on the horizon. Okay? As we're for, if you're walking circumspect, you see that men are taking certain actions that are going to get everybody blamed. All right? Certain words they're saying. You know, and things, and even through the spirit, okay, those that are in the know, how the apostles told us to stop saying, you know, death to Arzareth. Okay? Which, if you know what, if you if you've been if you've been studying, you know what Arsareth means, okay. <clears throat> and then you had that unity camp where they they yelled that out, Kwam Yasharala, and death to Arsareth, okay. And they said it so many times that it was it was unreal, okay. How how Bashimi Abushai that quickly had the body of GMS stop saying certain things, and then you had these men after we reprimanded them proceed to go do a unity camp and say the same exact thing that we were advised to stop saying. So, you know, nothing happens by mistake. Oh, man, I'm so low on uh, storage, man, and battery. So I'm going to have to make this quick. Okay, Lord willing, it don't get cut off. <clears throat> but I just want to touch on that, man. You know, we, we are in times that, you know, people are moving very funny, all right? And, hey, we got to prepare for the persecution that's going to come, Okay. And I'm going to keep harping on it, you know, we're going to be tied and linked to something major, you know, and this is me speaking as a man. I don't know what it's going to be, 
But the scriptures say the wrath of a great multitude shall be kindled over. Well, I can only imagine what what we can be linked to for the wrath of a great multitude to be kindled over little old us. All we do is preach the Bible. Okay? All we do is go on the highways and byways and preach the Bible. Tell our people to repent. Of course, we do give the nations their judgment and tell them what's going to happen to them. But we ain't we ain't orchestrating the judgment. Over here at Great Millstone, we ain't doing no, you know, violence against you people. We ain't <coughs> interested in popping up at your rallies and doing none of that mess, okay? That's these other groups. But nevertheless, we will all be blamed for the actions of the few, all right? And so, hey, who knows? Because <clears throat> like I said, <clears throat> or, or like like what happened with that whole first encounter with WFI and those, and those protesters, okay, they... The protesters believed that WFI was siding with the with the long noses, with the uh, with the small hats. Okay, if that's a better way of saying it, I don't know if that long nose comment can get me stricken. I don't know. You know, these days, you, you know, that just goes to show you who's really in control because you can't say nothing about them niggas, right? But it was uh, they were under the impression that you know the BHI, as as, as we're called, that those brothers, those Hebrew Israelites, were. Um, were, were, were supporting those those Khazars, man, which was opposite of the truth. But that's a narrative that can be spun to once these people, because a lot of people already don't like these people, right? So um, that can be spun to say, well, these niggas support the Holy Land. You know, they, these niggas support them people over there. <clears throat> and all they got to do is say, oh, you support them? All right, now we all hate you. Because eventually what's going to happen, okay? The ten horns are going to hate the whore, all right, and burn her with fire. And what? And, and who's the number one supporter of those small hatters? America Babylon the Great, man, is the number one supporter of those of those small hatters over there in that land, all right? And so once people turn on them, uh, uh, on this place, and get ready to put it asunder, you can guarantee their constituents are going to be not far behind i.e. the people over there in that land. So I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, you were edified. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to you. Abba Shem, by Shem, Racha HaKadosh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the most holy elect. All right, keep your, keep your eyes open, man. All right, and, and, and just understand what time we in. We in a time that a lot of shit's about to pop off. And we got to prepare ourselves mentally and spiritually to endure these times, man, to not get carnal. It's gonna be a lot of opportunities for carnality coming up, man. A lot of a lot of temptations for carnality coming up. And we just gotta remain spiritual to the best of our ability. Alright. So with that I'm gonna say shalom.